No mai, hara mai, whakatau mai, ki rima te kaumaru a wiki. Uh, welcome to 52 Weeks, a ko tēnei te wahanga tuarua. This is our um, set of second semester resources um, for the Whai Pura Pura program. So we are focusing in now on um, the resources from 11 to 20. Um, just a tip that the resource sheet 11 um, reflects and extends the information in resource sheet 1, resource sheet 12 reflects and extends the information in resource sheet 2 and so on. So there is a parallel there and an extension of information in this second set of resources. So let's get started. Uh, ko te kaupapa o tēnei mahi, tēnei karahi, ko pōwhiri, me tau parapara. So in our resource sheet tahi, there's foundational information on the kaupapa of pōwhiri. Um, we learn of the tikanga and the kawa of that process. <clears throat> and today we are just going to focus on one aspect of pōwhiri that will extend um, and enrich our reo, and that is tau parapara. So um, if you're wondering what tau parapara is um, to start with, here is a definition from Rewi that is on the Ministry of Education Te Maho site, um, which says a tau parapara is the first utterance by an opening speaker. It is a tribal poetic chant containing traditional or philosophical statements that usually contain geneal genealogical references or links to whakapapa. Uh, and it is really, um, there is a really beautiful and in-depth explanation of tau para para here uh, for you to read and really get to grips with what this is. But we'll come back to this in a minute. As always, it's good to um, begin our time together um, in class with waiata and karakia, filling our kite with these pieces of reo that are going to enrich our language and enrich our classrooms. Um, so the waiata which I am bringing to you today is probably one that you might not learn if you are um, beginning your reo journey or um, just starting out, but it's a beautiful one to listen to and to watch. Um, as I've said here in the notes, the performance just really demonstrates the power and joy of um, Waiata that bring people together for performance. So enjoy it. Um, it uses this um, snippet of Tau Para Para uh, to link um, what would be said in the Tau Para Para with the Waiata. Katangi te titi, katangi te kaka, katangi hoki aho. So enjoy um, that. Our karakia, again, a karakia that you would often hear used in the classroom. So um, keep learning it, Fano. I'm going to say it again for you so you have the pronunciation ready for our class. E te atua, humai kia mato, to maramatanga. To rangi marie, to kaha me to aroha motene ra amini. Um, I'd really encourage you as you are saying these karakia over the semester to be really paying attention to the kupu that you now know, um, particularly our pronouns here, mato, and our possessive pronouns to. And then the kupu that we are becoming more and more familiar with, kaha, aroha, rangi marie, maramatanga. Um, so practice that and enjoy it and um, be prepared to say it in class. So to tau para para, what I would like you to do is to read these explanations so you have a good understanding of the complexities of tau para para. And then I would also like you in preparation for class to um, listen to one or other of these examples of um, tau para para compiled by Te Hira Moana Whareinui. Um, they are extended examples. They are a beautiful um, opportunity to listen to fluent reo being spoken. Um, and you can read along and um, pick up as much as you can. 
uh, as you listen to them, you might find that the next time you're in porphyry, you will be able to identify when a speaker is using toparapara, and you might even recognize some of the toparapara that um, Tehira Moana Farinui has, um, has presented here. So just a real in-depth um, engagement with some more extended reo just to get us started for the semester. Um, the wete reo that I will be looking at in class this week is pronouns, another revision because that's always helpful. Um, we saw mato in our karakia when the speaker is speaking about us to God. Um, and at porphyry, we often hear the koto when we're speaking of the other group. And then the tato here when we are embracing one another as one group together. So spend some time revising that before you come to class and you will be prepared. I will see you on Tuesday. Kaki te koutou.